Hello friends, I'm Anuradha Kanesh and I am going to tell you what is aging discovery and dynamic post configuration protocol in mobile communication. Aging discovery. It comes under the IP packet delivery in mobile communication. So what is IP packet delivery? In IP packet delivery, uh, there is two nodes CN and MN. CN is corresponding node and MN is mobile node in which communication takes place mobile node who resides in a network it is called home network and the home network has a home agent which is a device which gives the information of all the mobile nodes residing in that particular network when mn mobile node moves from home network to another network it requests to two foreign agents agents to let it in to the network and provide a host ID of the network which is called care of address through which home networks agents will communicate with the mobile node. The initial problem that comes when a um, mobile node is moving from one network to another is that what, how it will find its foreign agent of the network in which it is moving which is called agent discovery the two things arises during agent discovery is whether the network in the nodes whether the network is in nodes home network or it is the foreign network and what is the foreign agent's care of address to find out this two methods are there in agent discovery that is agent advertisement and agent solicitation to find the foreign agents in the another network. In agent advertisement, the home agent agent and foreign agent periodically advertise their presence by giving special advertisement messages periodically. The foreign agent periodically broadcast the messages in its own network to let the visit visited mobile nodes know the foreign agent is here and what the services the foreign agent is providing. Thus, the mobile node knows in which network it is belonging, whether it is home network of its own or the foreign network in which it is moved. In case, in case the mobile node does not receive this message, it can request the service by sending a solicitation message to inform foreign agent directly. This advertisement can be seen as beacon, ad, beacon broadcast to the subnets. For these messages, advertisement messages, Internet Control Message Protocol ICPM is used. According to this standard protocol, the TTL field of the packet of the advertisement is set to 1 so to avoid forwarding of them. And the address field has a number of router address advertised in this message. The IP destination address according to the standards is either 224.0.0.1 which is the multicast address to all system of the links or it is set to broadcast address 255.255.255.255 the after the multicast or broadcast of the advertisement packet in the network Every node and visited mobile node receives the packet and look in the address field of the packet to get the information of their current network address. If any node finds that it is not in the home network, then it configures with the foreign network and gets the care of address. This is how this is how agent advertisement is done. Now, the agent solicitations. What is agent solicitation? 
solicitation is the request sent by the mobile node if it does not receive any advertisements by the agents or the inter arrival time of the messages is very high the mobile node can also broadcast an agent solicitation it will be answered by the foreign agent a mobile node can search for uh, foreign agent using agent solicitation to avoid the flooding of the network three solicitation are sent per second as it enters in a new network so to ensure that it does not flood the network for this gap that is a uh, solicitation per second can be very large for dynamic networks which with moving mobile nodes or the application which requires continuous data stream so if a node does not reply for agent solicitation mobile node can decrease the rate of solicitation to avoid flooding of network so if a node does not get a reply for its agent solicitation mobile node which which is not getting a reply can decrease the rate of solicitation to avoid the flooding of network if the mobile node moves to a network that has no foreign agent all the agents are busy this is agent solicitation but if any mobile node moves to a network that has no foreign agents or the agents are all busy then agent discovery must can be failed now if the mobile node moves to a network that has no foreign agents and or all the agents are busy then how will be agent discovered and how will it get a host id it is easy as it can be acquired it can acquire a temporary address through the dhcp that is dynamic host configuration protocol after getting a temporary address by dhcp the mobile node acts as its own foreign agent and the address obtained is known as co-located care of address discovering a new agent can be done anytime not only if the foreign uh, not only if the mobile node is not connected to one when mobile network is connected to any agent then also, then also it can uh, solicit or uh, for any another agent so for a better network mobile network can look for a better connection but uh, wants to still uh, send its data from its old part so in this case it can uh, solicit for a new agent after these all steps of ad, uh, advertisement and solicitation a mobile node is now received can now receive a after all the steps of uh, agent discovery that is after agent advertisement and agent discovery a mobile node has a care of address or either a uh, co-located coa by dhcp through which it can be dhcp dynamic host configuration protocol it is a network management protocol which is used for maintenance and installation of new entering nodes in the network it is used to dynamically assign an ip address to any new node entering in the network dhcp permits a node to be configured automatically therefore avoiding any necessity of involvement of any 
network advertise and administrator. DHCP provides all the important information about the network to any node for configuration that is address of DNS server, default router, the subnet mask, the domain name, the IP address. It provides all the information to the node. DHCP also does the following things. First, manages the table of all the nodes added or dropped from the network, maintains the unique IP address of the host using a DHCP server, sends a request to the DHCP server whenever a client node wants to configure and then the DHCP server acknowledges the node by providing an IP address. The dynamic host protocol DHCP is also known as RFP 2131. The DHCP is based on client server model where a client request and a server responds. The client sends a request using MAC broadcast to each of the device in the network. This figure shows client initialization via DHCP. In this figure, there is a client and two servers through which to which client is sending a request. Figure a client is broadcasting the message to be to get a care of address by the servers. Then the two servers receive this broadcast message and determine the configuration they can offer to the client. They also check the IP addresses that are available and they choose one of the IP address for the client. If they have available IP addresses, the server will reply to the client by a request, DHCP offer and will offer the list of configuration parameters to the node. After the server has sent the DHCP offers, the clients now cho can choose one of the configuration offered, whichever they like. The client in turn replies to the server by accepting one of the offers and by rejecting the another. If the server receives DHCP request with an exception of by the client, then it will offer configuration and DHCP server will add the node and the initialization phase of the node will be completed. If the server receives the DHCP request with a rejection, it will free the configuration reserved for the client for the other possible clients it can get. If any client leaves a subnet, it should release the configuration that it has reserved so that the server can give it to other users or clients. This can be the request DHCP release. DHCP server is ideally suited in scenarios where there is a regular inclusion and exclusion that is coming and outgoing of network nodes like wireless hotspots. In this case, the DHCP server also assign a least time to each client after which the assigned IP address gets invalid. So in short, in short, how a DHCP handshake takes place. DHCP client sends out the DHCP discover messages to identify DHCP servers. Then the servers, when finds the discovery messages, responds and available responds with an available IP address, sys and options 
to the equity client. After receiving receiving the offer, the DSPP clients request the IP address from the server. If DHCP server accepts it, it acknowledges the IP request and completes the initialization phase. By dynamically providing IP address and co-located pair of address, DHCP can lead to the scarcity of IP addresses. So, to overcome this problem, there comes a dynamic DHCP in which client does not know its IP address assigned, but the IP address is leased to it for a period of time. Each time a device is powered up, it communicates with DHCP server to lease it a to lease it a IP address. Wireless devices are the example of clients that are assigned to dynamic IP addresses when they are connected to a network. That is all for DHCP. Thank you.